Y'all can't even sit there and tell me that this isn't the hardest looking outfit in the game. My drip is dope. I look like a straight up evil killer. Sauron on a horse with horns. Hell, welcome back to the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree full playthrough. I got a list of things to do, as I always do. I start the episode, I got a small list of things I missed or little things I wanna do, blah, blah, blah. First thing I'm gonna do is go back to A Sight of Grace because I have a couple of incantations I haven't messed with and I'm, I'm really liking the rings. I feel like I'm gonna go all in on the rings, so now is the time. I have golden arcs and the giant's golden arcs, so that's basically what I'm gonna try out. So I think that golden arcs is just gonna be basically exactly what my weapon does. We just try this out on a poor soul. It is not exactly what my weapon does. I think the weapon's actually quite a bit better in that regard. And then the giant one. Oh, shit. It's slow. It's slow, not gonna lie. Oh, this guy's back again. <laughs> Let's go, potentate. Come on, man. <laughs> what an idiot. All he did was sharpen his blade the whole time. I'm really surprised that he actually came back. Why was I fighting him again? The second thing I'm going to do is a little unusual. I have been given some information outside of YubeTubes. tubes. Uh, I have missed something in the Fall Grift Catacombs. I don't know much about it, but I know if I go into the Fall Grift Catacombs, I have missed a thing. I'm not going to make you watch me replay the Fall Grift Catacombs, but I am going to go back in and see if I can find a secret that I am told will be kind of good for my build. So here we go. Oh, oh, ho, ho. I got it. I got it. The Ash of War Blink Bolt. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly what I care about. Maybe I can get up on top of this again, though. Yeah, here we go. This continues. There's a spot over here. I've already used the Blink Bolt before, I think. Like, it was part of something else. Part of that uh, weapon I had, the, the axes. Skill used by Golden Knights who serve God when from a low stance, bodies transformed into a bolt of lightning and charges straight ahead at fulgurous speed. Yeah, it's cool. It's not, like, perfect. Examine altar. This looks like... Raise the stone sheathed sword to the dark. Where did I get the stone? At some point, I received a stone sheathed sword. Here. I remember this. I got this from the area that I couldn't get in very well. Uh, um, a stone uh, on Discord, someone told me that I was supposed to throw like fire pots and, and awaken a furnace golem to get in there, but I, it's, I don't know. I guess I stumbled upon a, a back spot to get in, and it wasn't how I was supposed to get there. I guess I don't. Know. Uh, but I, this is this is the sword that I got there. A sword that none can pull from its scabbard of cracked stone, relic of a lost civilization, said to have served ritual purposes of altars of light and darkness. So this says. Raise the stone sheath sword to the dark. Okay, now I have a, a sword of darkness. Sword of darkness pulled from its stone scabbard at an altar. From the quick of the root, wandering coils of darkness coalesce and release, their eddies and vortices giving form to the dark blade. Unique skill darkness, raise the sword aloft and cleave surroundings of darkness deals holy damage and temporarily reduces holy damage negation. Well, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I think I should try this on, right? I mean, it definitely fits my vibe. Oh, well, that's cool. All right, well, so now I have a sword. Let's see if I can get down here. I'm sure that's what uh, I was pointed towards because it's a holy weapon. I'm rocking the holy build all day. Gonna go back and check in with Moore. Hasn't uh, moved that I'm aware of. Thought maybe I'd see what he's up to. Yep, still here. I don't feel it. It's broken. New dialogue. Kind Nicholas Light is gone, but I stand tall. Together, we work. Together. 
for Mikola the Kind. I don't know what to do. Our mother abandoned her brood. She did not love us. We are her children. What should we do? Must we be sad forever? Oh, shit. Put it behind you or remain sad forever. I'm going to say put it behind you because uh, that's the nice thing to do. Maybe that's kindly Mikola's love. Love for all the unloved. Love to banish the pain. Well, this guy is sad, dude. You come often. You enjoy things. <laughs> I like finding things. I like you. <laughs> He's a real fucking poet. I like for you, Lady Leda, her allies, and the forager brute. Things bring joy to all. I like for you, things bring... Things bring joy to all. Well, you ain't wrong, bro. What do we got here? Goodbye. Mm, goodbye. All right, that's fun. Where are we going next? Actually, I know exactly where I'm going to go. I'm going to... I'm going to head right up to your boy Mesmer. It's a Mesmer fight. I forgot. I, I just kind of left Mesmer there a long time ago. Now, I am super surprised to see that there is not a way to summon anybody. I thought for sure I was going to be able to summon somebody at this point. I think what I'm going to do is maybe just go down to the main gate and follow that up real fast. Like, just do a sprint through. Uh, okay. All right. So this is new. Be summoned to assist Letta. Be summoned to assist Hornscent. Awesome. I don't like Letta. I'm going to summon Hornscent. I think Letta's a jerk. Not not necessarily a jerk, but she's just like, she drank too much of the Kool-Aid, you know? We're going to assist Hornscent. See where this takes us. Oh! It's going down! Letta, prepare to die! Before your thirst for revenge beckons our undoing. I knew this day would come. The nature of your kind, I am certain, will always show itself. Give me time. Enter here not with my business. Sell it. What is your plan? I have not regular begging for help. I'm not going to kill you because I'm going to get all the dialogue. Well, never mind. <laughs> A single betrayal, enough to turn the Unfortunately, but I will leave She you said, I'll leave you be for now. now. She might come back? Do not interfere. This is my revenge. Ooh, he didn't like that. He, he didn't like that I was here. He said, don't interfere. This is my revenge. Oh, I got stuff. Ash of War, Swift Slash, and Letta's... Oh, I got a Militiaman hat, too. That thing's cool looking. Skill passed down amongst horn scent swordsmen. Take a swift forward leap and slice through the foes. Oh, sounds great. Mikola gifted Letta with gentle gold. What, you think you got something on me? That was dumb. I got you right here, though. Watch this. Do you know about... I don't know how I'm alive. There's nothing on the health bar. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> that was literally one HP. Easy. Bolt Drake Talisman plus three. Dang, dude. Boost lightning damage negation by the utmost. Totally missed that. So glad I'm going back through. Your boy got anything new to say? What could they possibly have in mind for Lord Moog's remains? The implications are... Whoa. Hand over the secret right scroll or tell him about Freya's decision. I'm going to hand over the oh, scroll. What's this? Yes. Yes, I should have known. Even the truth was itself mere folly. As if using Lord Moog to gain entrance to the land of shadow were not enough. He plans to use his corpse as the vessel of his king consort. Ew. He has forsaken Lord Moog's soul. He desires only his empty shell. You about to not like... I believe, but 
I'm Mikkel afraid anymore. Tender Mikkela fails to grasp the humiliation implied by this act. One thing is certain. My dear lord deserved better. I don't know about that. <laughs> He's pretty, pretty rough dude. Righteous tarnished. You have my gratitude. You have given me the answers I needed. But I can hardly fathom it. Such folly. Unto the end. I am a warrior, but I've aged. I cannot afford to act hastily. Curse it all. I know my limits. I could spend the rest of my life honing my craft, and still that creature would be out of my blade's reach. The absolute fo- Phrase decision. By the gods. She must be feeling the need to reaffirm her allegiance before she heads to war. A true red mane she is. Hardly troubled by the rot. Yeah, that's true. I sense that. A true red mane. Righteous tarnished. Could you please give this to Freya? No doubt. Thanks to you, she too will have the answer she requires. Yes. I can see her barreling into the fray right now. <laughs> A letter for Freya. Any, any last things? In her affairs. But this is the only way I can help. Perhaps so, but this is the only way. Yo, let's read that letter. <laughs> Presumably written in answer to her query, but the page is neatly folded to keep prying eyes from reading it. Oh, I can't unfold it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God forbid. We'll never be able to unfold this piece of paper, guys. Hey! I'm afraid I'm busy, truly. I should have asked Anne's back to impart his knowledge when I had the chance. I got you! Pass on the letter. Your hands back. To me, what on earth could it... Hmm. 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 Yes. Of course. I see. As the festival of war concluded, General <gasps> Radan's soul met an honorable end. But kindly Mikola wishes to revive it. What? Which is fine by me. I know it would pain old Jeren, but war has always suited General. What? Radan They're gonna best. bring Radon back to Certainly life? Far more than any honorable death. Endless war to invigorate the soul. Oh. As befits <laughs> what? General Radon, the great lion. That is fucking crazy. I mean, I didn't necessarily. I thought it was a fitting, well-written end to Radon, this great warrior, and I give him a fitting end to a warrior with all these people. Like, the festival was awesome, and now all of a sudden, nah, we just gotta bring him back to life and let him die over and over. That's a true fitting end. That's crazy, man. Thank you. Now I finally cast off my misgivings. Give my regards to Honorable Ansbach. Tell him, if we should meet in battle, to face your bow would be fine enough, but to face your blade would be an honor. He's downstairs. These people are crazy. They're always saying stuff, having me pass messages on, like they're never gonna be able to see him. Just go downstairs. A golden lion shield, that looks pretty cool. Brave warrior. Perhaps next time we too will meet on the battlefield. All right. Shield made to resemble a fierce golden lion with a luxuriant mane. Awarded to especially valorous members of Radan's personal guard on the occasion of its formation. The unique skills the Roaring Bash roar like a golden lion and deliver a shield bash from a guarding position. Knocks back and staggers foes over a wide radius. Actually doesn't sound bad at all. Never read this. Cursed Mira. So it was Labyrinth was the actual boss fight when I fought this one. Curse Blade Mira is the, is the uh, spirit ash we get. Curse Blades appear to dance when they spin their shimmering circular blades. These ascetics who failed to become tutelary deities were a scourge for those who attempted to invade the Hornsent homeland. Long ago, before the land was overshadowed by invasion, this scourge was shunned and the Curse Blades were imprisoned. It was during this confinement that Mira met Labyrinth and upon her death, Labyrinth was plunged into a devastating darkness wow uh never ran into anything else so i think we're back to just fighting uh your boy mesmer at this point let's get mesmer down because he's just a punk anyway 
Oh, there is someone I can summon. Horde Sand is here! How's this? I don't think that's gonna work. All right. I gotta get Horde Sand. Let's go, bro. Listen to him go! Foam, my beloved! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love it! They get all pissed off. Ah, Vesper! Flame of my beloved! Get in there! Oh. Second phase on the first try, and I'm doing terribly also. It's kind of the funny thing. I'm doing, like, really bad. How do you bite me? I have my shield up. All right, here's what I know about Mesmer. I'm taking him down with Hornsen. I did all that work. I saved Hornsen's life. He's going to be part of the fun. All right, you want to fight him? Whee! <laughs> what a move. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to get tired of that. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh no! <laughs> I do kind of feel like uh, Horn Scent is just uh, making things a little crazier than they ought to be. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta get away from that with the quickness. Fuck! Why did I go for that? Knowing it was not the right move! Ah! <laughs> He's the one beating your ass up. Ow. I don't even know how you just hit. It ain't possible. I'm too good. Something went down. Let's get a heal in before the damn snake comes and ruins my day. Run! Oh, come back, get him. I don't know. Heal, do something. I don't know. I got eaten. I got eat! We're just gonna shoot this out here like a crazy person randomly from a distance. Your boy's dead. Ow. He's just doing his normal little tricky trickster moves here. Oh, holy shit, am I about to beat this dude? <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd his health go? <laughs> A curse upon thee, Cab YouTube. <laughs> I feel I don't even know what happened. I guess I did well. <sighs> Remembrance of the Impaler, Mesper's Kindling. Uh, you know, that didn't go exactly how I wanted it to go. I was waiting for a big buildup, a big exciting buildup. Instead, I accidentally beat him. Your boy Horde sent, though. This is why you gotta go back through the game. Oh, man. You know, it's done. That's how I feel. It's done. Remembrance of Mesmer the Impaler, hewn into the Shadow Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, man, I know. 
A malevolent snake writhed within Mesmer, and so his very mother plucked out his eye and put its place in its place a seal of grace. Yet, having done so, her fear compelled her to secret away her child within the realm of shadow, hidden away, keeping company with the original sin and a hatred that would not be confined. The kindling that burned inside Mesmer the Impaler, a dark thing eaten away by a wicked serpent, burns the ceiling tree said to be found at the old Ra ruins. Mesmer, much like his younger sister, bore a vision of fire. Very cool looking too, like visually actually, that looks super cool. It's telling me to go this way. Ah, look at that. Continue that we're out. I think I might listen to it. I don't know. Why not? Uh, first thing I want to do is head back and uh, trade in some of my remembrances. What you got for me? Oh, yeah. Haven't turned this in yet either. Uh, frost cleaver. Weapon yielded, wielded by the pr uh, putrescent knight. A great cleaver of hardened putrescent affixed to an arc fashioned from human bones. Gains power from the wielder's arcane attribute. Or a sorcery. Uh, I guess I'll just get the... I'm actually a little bit closer. Let's get that, I guess. I can get the spear or an incantation. Mesmer's orb shapes Mesmer's flame into a giant orb that soars at a foe. Might go with that. Summons Mesmer's flame to form a, form a giant floating orb. The orb soars toward a foe, crashing into the earth and exploding after a brief delay. Charging enhances the potency. Mesmer despised his own fire. Time and time again, he hoped to rid himself of it, but ever did it burn. Uh, spear of the Impaler. Great spear with a warped blade in the shape of an undulating flame. Remade by the forging arts of the Realm of Shadow. This weapon can be thrown by executing a strong attack, dashing strong attack, or mounted strong attack. Charge the attack to produce a flame on impact. Yikes, they're both pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. The spear, I guess. I'm not going to use either one, I bet, so... Doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to go to the dragons. Let's go take out this, this dragon dude. Throw a couple levels on this beast, too. While I'm at it. Bro, you a punk. Lightning bolts all day. You're not even, you're not even hard. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. So scary. Oh, I need to get some. I need to get some raisins. <laughs> you're pretty, uh, you're pretty tough, aren't you? Headshot. Boom, headshot. Oh, I missed you. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get some raisins out here pretty soon. Should I get that, um... Oh, I died. I thought just Torrent died. Should I get that dragon killing dragon weapon? That's probably a good idea. Call me crazy. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's get smithing. Do I go with the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana with that bleed? Let's go. Oh, I need a Somber Smithing Stone 3. Shit, can I buy those here? Hmm. So I need a Somber Smithing Stone 3 and I don't have the bell bearing for that. I don't know if they come through to new game plus i don't think so which is why i have so many because i kind of thought i collected them in the past so what i'm doing now is i'm gonna i'm making my way over to the altus tunnel so i can just run like speed run it and go get the be belling bear bell ha i can go get the bell bearing from the crystallian duo and then i'm gonna go buy some and then i'm gonna come back yeah watch this though Oh, you guys don't really care about that, it seems. Okay, let's go stamina. Could use a little more of you, thank you. Oh, we got you! That's one, that's two. Give me my bell bearing. 
Thank you. Now can I get Somber Smithing Stone 3, please? There it is. Do I use my Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone on my Dragon Hunter's Great Katana plus 10? I think I'm going to go for it simply because I need something to kill dragons with. So get out of here. That's what I'm doing. Thankfully, it's a nice sunshiny day, too. Let's go. <laughs> Hold up. Did we just replace the lightning bolt? We might have. I don't know. I got to get over here, though, right now. All right, what's up, bro? I don't think that worked. That worked. That worked. Now, works for you, not for me. That worked. Hell yeah, dude, this is the move. I'll never stop. I'll never stop with this move. Oh, did I just mess him up? Is he dead? I can't get him. Yeah! Dude, all I had to do was pick a weapon that actually didn't suck. That was not too hard. Uh-oh. Here we go. Another one. Another oh, what's he doing? I don't like that. Give me that. Give me that face. Mess your face up all day. Uh-oh, he's doing something I'm not going to like. He's flying now. I don't like that he's flying and he's way up there. I don't know how what I'm supposed to do with this. Can we do this? Yeah, I got you with a ring of light. You suck. Dang, what's up with the dragon katana? A dragon scale, dragon scale flesh. Cool. Uh, that felt pretty good. That dude was pretty tough before I uh, pumped up this dragon katana all day. Should I go, um, where's the dragon altar? I don't even remember. Okay, first off, let's read what I got. Dragon scale flesh consumable that boosts vigor, stamina, strength, and dexterity at the cost of gradual HP loss. Well, that's fun. A lump of hot flesh carved from beneath the inverted scales said to grow on aged dragons. When ingested as is, boosts vigor, stamina, strength, dexterity at the cost of gradual HP loss. To the Drake Warriors, there is no more intoxicating liquor than the heat of dragons. Yeah, I got a bunch of these dragon hearts, man. I got to go to that altar. Where was that? The dragon altar. Was that... Yeah, here. In Kaelid. I need to examine this altar, please. I don't have this. So I guess I'll just buy it. That's all I needed. Is there another dragon communion altar somewhere that I don't know about? There must be. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Bail! Oh, terror incarnate! Again, I stand afore ye. Oh. Ba so that was a bale. So bale must be maybe up this giant, this giant mountain or something. Boy, that guy, Egon, I think his name was. I think it was Egon, not Igor, right? Ah, oh, Bale, Terror Incarnate. Uh, all right, well, let's go straight first and just see what's over here. I have a feeling it's nothing. So we can see down into the finger area, right? Yeah, that's where we were before, so none of that's new. Uh, I'm gonna go south first. Cool, this is the face of that big uh, dragon that's like covering up a lot of the area we've already explored. E Egon's cookbook. That's interesting. Dragon communion grease and harpoon. Left by the warrior who challenged the vile dragon Bale, only to be grievous, grievously injured and broken by fear. Contains details on how a mere mortal can fell a mighty dragon. All right. We're clearly going to go fight a dragon named Bale. And, uh... On Discord, I've heard a lot of talk about some dragon named Bale. I've been trying to avoid it because I don't like the spoilers, but I know there's a mighty dragon named Bale. I'm going to examine this altar. Is this a good thing? 
Oh, it's a grand altar of dragon communion. Communion with Baal? Let's do the rich... Oh my god. Do the ritual first. Ghost flame breath. Spews ghost flame breath from above. I'm just gonna buy them because I think it's... Wait. Let's do this with Baal first. Oh, look at all that arcane required. Yikes, dude. I ain't doing shit with that. I'd have to have a heart of Bale first anyway. So I gotta go kill Bale and get his heart. I'll take that. All right. I did it. Now what? Oh, shit. There's an NPC here. <laughs> What's up, bro? Didn't see you there. Now look at this dude. Nice face, man. You look great. Oh, with your creepy arms. I don't know about that, though. See what you gotta say. Warrior. Feasting upon a dragon's essence. Mm -hmm. On the throbbing heart of the oldest, vilest dragon of them all. It would be the purest form of communion. The fullest sating of your hunger and your consummation as a dragon. Oh. Devour draconic essence all day. Yes. Now, seek the jagged the Jagged Peak. There you will find Bale, the oldest and vilest of all dragons. Landfowl warrior. Follow your desire and slay the foul beast. Devour its throbbing heart. I will grant you the strength required in the name of my lord. <gasps> Plus, Plus a do six. Wow, cool. It's happening. Ancient Dragon's Blessing. Favor bestowed by the Dragon Communion Priestess in the name of the Dragon Lord Placidusix. Consume FP to increase all forms of damage negation, including physical. This also increases damage negation while guarding as an additional effect. Each night, the Priestess offers her own sleep to her Lord and in turn receives the power of his favor. Nice. This is also the Ghost Flame Breath incantation I just got. One of the incantations of the Dragon Communion transforms Caster into a dragon to spew Ghost Flame Breath from above. Charging extends duration. This incantation can be used while jumping. The land of spirit graves is home to all manner of dead, and even the corpses of fallen dragons found their way there. Several of them were endowed with such vivicity that even in death, they could not fully die. Good to know. What's going on back this way? Can I climb you? Oh, I seem to be able to go out, like, out on its wing. Dragon communion harpoon? Glad I came over here. Throw to inflict damage with an anti-dragon effect. Harpoon bristling with sharp gravel stones. The tool of the old ancient dragon communion warriors who were the ancients of the dra agents of the ancient dragon's hatred for their lowborn descendants. Another harpoon. Oh, so he's just got, like, harpoons stuck in him. What a crazy-looking area. Super beautiful. Wow, look at that view. So we've been down there a long time ago. Doesn't really seem to be anything out here. Kind of an interesting little path. This way, maybe? Oh, uh, uh, what? A whole new area. Charo's Hidden Grave. Once again, I found an entirely new area. Oh, a mariner? Wow, I haven't seen one of these guys in a long time. Excuse me, sir. Ooh, that didn't, this is not turning out very good. That, that turned out bad. Gravekeeper's cookbook. Let's check that out right quick. Polterstone. Here, let's go ahead and knock this dude out. Definitely not needed, but I ain't trying to prove that uh, I can kill a mariner. You will die now. Wow, you suck. I forgot how much I hate those dudes. Get him, boy. Damn, machine gun. <laughs> All right, can we go get the Mariner now? Here we go. How does that feel? How's that feel, sucker? Easy. Easy day. I don't even remember what the Mariners get you. A cookbook. Perfect. Just what I wanted. A cookbook. Who's Charo? And where's his grave? Oh god, is Charo a dragon? I'll have to fight another dragon out here. I don't really want to, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, 
Hello, Charo. Oh, no! Charo, you're evil. You're a death right bird. Okay, you don't like... You don't like that, so that's good. <laughs> oh shit. I don't think the problem here is really the... Oh shit. No. Oh shit. Um, dead? Dead? I'm not dead. Somehow I lived through that. What are you shooting backwards? I don't want to shoot. Just kill this thing right in front of you, bro. <laughs> Alright. The real trick here is you gotta take everything out before you start the fight. And that is what I did not do. Alright. Oh, the fire! Alright, give it a little... Oh, no! Watch, this is gonna be it! You're done! Oh, I ran out of FP. There we go. There we go, maybe? Uh-oh. Got you. Am I gonna hit you ever? This is it. This is where you cry. And you're done. Okay, death right bird. Ghost flame call. Ghost Flame Call, thrust out armament to summon a Ghost Flame. Follow up with an attack. Okay, no lore. Well, there's a Death Rite Bird. Cool, man. We like Death Rite Birds. Spirit Glaive. Sharp blade sculpted into a twisted shape, said to serve as a medium for the communion with spirits. Full disclosure, it is now two days later. I had things to do, but I'm back. I want to finish out this area, I think, on this episode before I move on. It's really a, like a beautiful area. Whoa, look at this rat. It was beautiful. No, is this a hippo? We got another hippo. How do I feel about this? I feel like I'm gonna freaking laser beam this hippo. And that's how I feel about it. Run. Uh-oh. Should have stayed on torrent. Finish you off. Let's go. Did I get a shadow tree fragment again? I did. Uh, where was that furnace golem? I saw him in the distance at some point. There he goes. Gotta take this guy out now. I can't lock onto this one for some reason. I don't know why I can't. I'm not even sure I'm actually doing any damage to him because he seems to be armored. Oh, grave bird ashes. I can have a bird? That's, that's not bad. I think if this dude comes towards me, I might be able to get a hefty pot. So let's maybe do some crafting. Oh, but I can't craft in combat apparently, so. <laughs> oh, this is a, a beautiful yet kind of trash area. This is pretty dumb actually. Like I'm clearly supposed to throw, we know the fire pot trick at this point. That's clearly what I'm supposed to do but I can't craft a fire pot because I'm in combat. Oh yeah, I can craft. I've crafted something. I think I've also found a cave just now. I did. That's good. I think I'll actually just check out this cave over here and then I'm gonna go back to that furnace golem because honestly, I don't really like furnace golems at this point and I don't know why I need to prioritize that. I'm just gonna let that go. Goodbye, Furnace Golem. I don't like you. Okay, by the decor, I believe this is about to be a jail. Lamenter's Jail. Hell yeah, I'm so robust. Hi, friend. Whack. Come on, you thought you were gonna sneak on me? I sneak on you, that's how this works. Sneak on me. 
I'm here for the frozen maggots. Let's go. Jail upper level key. Oh boy, I gotta collect keys. Come on. I'm getting too good, man. I'm learning all your moves. Those guys used to actually scare me. Uh oh, what do you gotta say? Please, I can't stand the sound. I need no salvation. Please stop, desist your wretched lamentation. Uh, I, I'm gonna assume the Lamentor is doing the lamenting around here. Paddling pate lamentation. The voice resounds, seeping into the brain, weeping, 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 ever weeping. <laughs> That's a good one. A locked door. Probably gonna need a key for that. Another locked door. Call of Tibia uses FP to summon lost in death, an ancient ceremonial tool that uses a gravekeeper's skull as a catalyst. Craftable item. Use FP to summon one lost in death at the spot that it is thrown. The creature spins and mows down foes in the vicinity three times before dissipating. The dead have long been left to wonder. What they need is leadership. <laughs> That's funny. I can create a heavy ranker pot now. Cool. Uh, the Gravebird Ashes, the spirit of an old golem and gra spirit gravekeeper who flies with stone wings and spouts ghost flame. According to the legend, the Gravebirds were crafted to be kindred to the Deathbird. Oh, a Gravekeeper's Brain Pan. I picked this up earlier. Mainly found in the hidden grave of Charo. The old Gravekeepers are boatsmen and continue to summon the dead even after they wither away. Well, great. Oh, I don't like this. They're just dancing on a pile of bodies. Huh. It's a big pile of bodies, too. Not small. Excuse me, children. I just saw a big daddy. Ow. Why are you trying to save your kids, man? Almost lost it. Almost lost it. Let's go ahead and just get this before this guy kills me. Oh, it's the lower level key. Nice. Good, good. I think I ran into that door earlier. All right, let's go see if we can find the lower door. Oh, I think this brought me right back. Brought me right back to the spot I needed to go. Looky, looky, I found a yellow wall. Y'all think I can do this first try? The answer is definitely yes. The Lamenter got nothing on me. Lamentor. Is he invisible? Shield up. Oh. How many of you are there? Too many. Too many. <laughs> Did you see his big old head? <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually him. I found you. I found you. Let's try this. Stop summoning things. Why is he always summoning things? Oh, the Lamentor. I guess I'll take this opportunity to drink some FP juice. Oh, there he is, right? He's holding the head. Oh, that's, that wasn't him. They're all holding heads. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, there's heads around me. Why are there so many heads around my head? I just died. I just got too sad and died. Is that what just happened? <laughs> so here's how this fight works. You just get so sad that you die. Do I need to use a uh, paint? Prattling paint? All right, I think I got this one figured out now. The way this one works is I'm going to cry and he's going to like it and he'll stop attacking me. I think that's how this one's going to work. Okay, did it work? Did it work? You just keep crying? I don't think that worked. I don't, I don't think that's doing anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna die, because I don't think I killed them fast enough or something. Yeah, like it totally just kills me because they get so sad. I'm not really sure what the... I'm not really sure what the move is here. 
it. Cry. Cry, baby, cry. Just gonna let uh, Andreas come in and try to uh, help me just take out the side dudes. Take him down pretty fast too. All right, Andreas, here's the thing, man. When they come out, smash everybody. Boy, you tall. Why are you so tall, Andreas? <laughs> Trace is serious. There's one. Put your damn shield up, bro. You suck. <laughs> All right, another one. I think you kind of know which one it is because he doesn't. Uh... Wait, is that him? I think that's him. I found you. That's right, I found you. Because you didn't die. Oh, I got you with the backstab. You didn't like that. <laughs> Machine gun. Uh, that was a weird fight. Very strange. Lamenter's mask transforms the wearer into a lamenter and causes his head to swell. <laughs> oh, great. A stone mask twisted in an expression of rapturous grief. Use while disrobed to transform into a lamenter. The change cannot be undone except by death. Using this mask while already transformed causes the head to swell in size. This transformation tallies with the state of a denizen of paradise, but the people of the tower denied and hid it from the world. In their foolishness, they viewed true bliss with deep fear. <laughs> Should I uh, only wear this as my, my head? No, I am not. Return to entrance, my friend. I'm done with this pit. Now that I have created some pots i'm gonna go throw them into a giant furnace golem all right yeah this guy doesn't look like he can be hurt because he's got armored feet so that's pretty easy what i gotta do is jump up here and throw pots at him i know that's gonna be what it is so this is it right yeah another one hit him <laughs> oh this works great is he dead nice it only took three so cool! Glove wart crystal tear and a, another furnace visage. Enhances attacks of spirits and mixed physique. Oh! A crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the scattered sap of the shadow tree pools deep within the furnace golems. Can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physique. The resulting concoction temporarily... Man, I don't care about my connection to the Elden Ring server. They actually gonna log me out because of that? I was reading. Uh, apparently the Elden Ring servers decided to crash right now, so we're playing offline for a minute. The resulting concoction temporarily increases the attack power of spirits. Well, that's fun. Is this all that is this area? It's kind of a weak area, man. A giant weird area with some weird world bosses. A weird small little cave and there's not even a site of grace anywhere around here and who's chara i guess chara would be that dragon yeah chara must be the dragon over here pop a level leveling up a lot level 221 let's just keep going we'll level up forever well that's gonna do it for this episode next time i never know what i'm gonna do next time but i'll see you then